next would be tip number seven, local preview. So we talked a little bit about what generative design actually is trying to do. So when we place all of these settings, all of these different manufacturing and material types and run hundreds of iterations in the cloud, we need to know that it's actually going to work and everything's gonna connect the way that we would expect before actually solving. So this is what the local preview within generative design allows you to do. The local preview ap applies a coarse approximation to the generative setup before you've actually solved anything. So all you need to look for with these is first, is the preview actually able to be made or is it failing? And the second would be, are you missing anything? Is this coarse approximation connecting to all of your preserves? Is it doing what you would expect within earlier iterations within the solve? So to jump back to Fusion, so we have our geometry set up. We have all of our loading conditions, our preserves and obstacles. Before running a solve, we're just going to go to the preview tab here at the top. It looks like a green play button. And now you'll see this timeline slider that will appear at the bottom right. So we'll take just a second, but what Generative will do before sending anything to the cloud for this project, it's going to run a local course approximation of this just to make sure everything's lined up. So as I rotate my geometry around, you can see this transparent generative preview has been applied to this part. And all I need to look for is that things have been connected and I'm not clearly missing anything within my setup. So as soon as I see this within the preview, I know that I'm probably ready to go to run that generative solve.